Ebony Horn. Good. Excellent, we've acquired what we were tasked with retrieving. A horn such as this would please any craftsman. I should like to see his reaction. No, then. Then shall we head back to the entrance? Get me out of here. In that case. Let's head back to the entrance. Right? Good call. This was a hard day's work. Anyways, it's like, it's happened twice now, so it feels worth mentioning, but... No, I am no absolutely one. loving this game, but my only major complaint with the game right now is the way tur press turn does like repel and missing costing you your entire turn or costing two turn icons instead of one, which I still think is beyond stupid. That's my only major complaint. My only real minor complaint with the game right now, other than the characterization of the characters during the Lady Joanna stuff, I guess. My only minor complaint right now is that occasionally they just throw a dungeon out that is like five levels higher than I feel like it should be. It just seems like Hello. a little whack on level scaling. It's not like a big deal because I mean, I, I still got through it and won, but it was definitely like, I was having less fun doing it than I was all of the other dungeons because I just don't like when games suddenly jump your difficulty like that. I don't know why I went to Academia. It's because I was yapping. Oh, you'll come again, won't you? Let's get out of here. Hey. It's gonna be nine soon. We can't take the run around in the dark. Should we call it a day and head back? I would like to check the map. Let's see. Where do you want to check? A village. Well, I don't want to go danger. here. I guess we're going back to town. I kind of wanted to go and like mess with whoever is on this no gauntlet trouble. runner by going from this here place. straight to here. But this stormy, uh, right like weather is effect elaborate. is one of the Diesel least fun things in village. the game. So. I will just be going back to town okay, because then. I would rather not play right. the game than play the game when it takes away, like, the main game mechanic of weaknesses and turn shenanigans. The weather thing definitely didn't help, but also the levels were higher. It said that boss was level 38, and some of the random enemies ran it, we ran into were, like, level 36. I was level 30, so it was a level jump either way. The weather effect, I think, is stupid. I just think that's a dumb game mechanic because all it does is... Here's the thing, right? Is all that game mechanic does is it forces you to use the weather-looking thing and then say, oh, I wanted to plan out my, like, time where I would, like, hang out with people on these days and then go to the dungeon on this day, but because the weather mechanic sucks and the game basically says, hey, avoid this or don't have fun, it means that I don't get to make choice. It takes away choices from the player, right? It takes away, uh, it takes away choices because it makes it where like, oh, I don't actually get to decide, do I want to go to a dungeon now? Do I want to go hang out with my friends right now? Instead, the weather effect is so unfun that I have to choose when to go to dungeons based on that instead of based on when I want to go. And I think that's, I think that takes away choice from the player basically that's way less fun. And you may be saying, well, no, it makes it where like you have a choice. Do you go when the weather is bad and the game is more difficult or do you go when the weather is good and it's not? And I don't actually think that's a choice because taking away the super effective hit mechanic that like gives you more turns and is what makes the gameplay fun. You're not choosing like, it, I basically think you're stupid if you choose to go when the weather is bad. You, you basically just say like, I want to have less fun playing the game which I think is really stupid. If it was something like chat said earlier suggested where um, they were like, oh, well, like your defense is down if you go when it's like bad weather, then I'd be like, okay, well, that's like a kind of like, you can play around that a little bit and like decide like, yeah, my defense will be down, which will be a little rough, but I think I can manage, right? Taking away the, the extra turn mechanic entirely is basically like non-negotiable as far as I'm concerned. Not because of it making it more difficult or not, but just because the game is less fun. It just takes away one of the most fun things about the game. And, I, you know, this might be a bit of a controversial take, but I like to have fun when I play video games. So I just think that that's very, very stupid, that weather thing in general. And someone in chat saying fortune tellers can tell you the weather. I don't, that's what I'm saying. I don't care if you can figure out when the weather is. I'm saying that the fact that the weather exists, whether you know that it's there or not, it's taking away options from you because, like, 
unless you're stupid, in my opinion, you would never choose to go to a dungeon on a bad weather day. You would just be like, oh, well, I don't actually get to like, I don't actually get to plan out if I want to go to a dungeon or if I want to hang out with someone. I have to go to the dungeon on this day because it's the day when the weather isn't bad. And I think that's stupid. I just, I don't agree with that game design. I think it makes the game less fun compared to the alternate option. Climbing up that tower was a real slog. I feel like I need to catch my breath just by remembering it. But hey, at least we got the thing we were looking for. This was a request from the craftsman who made the ornaments, as I recall. Let us bring him the goods soon and be done with it. Oh, hold on. What should we talk about? Fighting other candidates. A candidate. Well, I'm relieved to see Katharina's okay. When we met her at the Grand Cathedral, she was in a bad way over everything that happened with her friend. By my count, this is the third loss she suffered at Rogue's Hand. Ambitious and persistent to the last, that one. Right. She finally said she'd step down as a candidate. Hopefully some of her supporters come over to our side. Oh, hold on. Alright, time to sleep. There's time until the soiree, sure, but we need to secure our route with time to spare. Let's make it happen. Right? The prince's fate is riding on us. We should make sure that our archetypes are ready for anything. Hmm. I thought myself utterly exhausted, but this meal is delectable. I shall sleep well after such a feast. You do get a small experience bonus from doing it during the bad weather. Yeah, but like they take away all the fun. <laughs> so it's still not worth it, even if it gives you more experience to me. Time marches on. And the age I want to be very clear. Every nearby. complaint that I just gave about the weather thing has nothing to do with like benefits or anything like that. It has to do entirely with the game being fun or not. All right. I think it is less fun. And that's the only measure that I care about when it comes to it. I don't care if it gives you more money. I don't care if it gives you more experience. It makes the game less fun and gives you less decision making on when to hang out with people and when to go to dungeons. And I do not like that no matter what benefit they give you for it. <laughs> I think that that is not, I don't think that was the right thing to do in the game. I think the game would be better without it. There's something I'd like him to look at. Oi there. Oi there. Why hello. Oh, Those are the samples of Dragon Thistleberry. I admit I didn't believe you could actually do it. I hope they'll be of use. They most definitely will. The medicine can be prepared quickly, so please wait here just a moment. Thanks for that. This should be enough to ensure that everyone gets the proper treatment. I can't thank you enough. All right. I'm glad to hear it. Hopefully they can all make a full recovery. I can never repay you enough, but please accept this token of my gratitude. It's some money as well as the leftover medicine. I hope it'll be useful. Mission accomplished. Mission accomplished. Dragon blood sap. Yo, 30k? Building back up the coffers. 35! Perhaps now I can be forgiven. Mm -hmm. Forgiven? Some time ago, my son was attacked while patrolling the border. There was a medicine shortage at the time, so I could only watch as he slipped away from the pain. This time I vow to save those young lives, though I know nothing I do will absolve my sins. How is medicine not being plentiful your sin? It's not your fault. Yep. Young people dying on the front lines, medicine shortages, making things worse. It's not one person's fault. The whole country's gone wrong. We're working to make sure that tragedies like this never happen again. I see. Is that what drives you to fight? Well, you can count me among your supporters, and I'll spread the word about around that you rogue or a candidate of character. The young soldiers this medicine will save, as well as their loved ones, will undoubtedly lend you their support as well. Thanks. Thank you. We'll make sure to live up to your expectations, won't we, rogue? Well met, eh? Well met indeed. All right, we have All right, more buddy. requests that Let's we go. can turn in, like this one over here. Bop, 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 bop. Young, man. Young man, there's no need to feel down. Hello. Ooh, that Ishkia has black wings. That's cool. I think I've only seen Ishkio with white wings thus far. Is that a big, beautiful horn in your pocket, or were you just that excited to come to my aid? <laughs> Who wrote this? Who wrote this? I want to give them a high five. It's an ebony horn, actually. This is a joy. Ha! Yes, I can tell just by touching it. This horn is capable of containing my limitless creativity. You've been an enormous help, as promised. Your reward. Mission accomplished. Mission accomplished. That was four and a half stars. We did a four star mission and it was no problem, right? So is a half a star like, is that equivalent to like five levels, give or take? I guess that would make sense. It would eventually get up to like about a level 100. I need to, so like four and a half stars is like around level 40. There's more, well, the boss was level 38. So it probably is more like level 35. The game expects you to be like level 35 for that. Maybe I'm just not 
internalizing how big of a bump between ranks it is. So four and a half stars, we'll say level 35-ish. So five stars would be level 40. I need to try and like internalize it. All right. Give me that courage. Well then. We're glad you're happy. Now then it's time for us to set off. Wait just a moment. How would you feel about hunting another Orgus for me? Or forget one. How about you hunt down lots and lots of Orgus? Huh? Really? This isn't exactly a walk in the park for us, and we're not exactly short on things we have to do? Oh, if that's the case, then I suppose I have no choice but to cross horns with those beasts myself. Oh, the best crafters start by rigorous, sele rigorous selection of ingredients after all, so just you wait, Orgus. When I'm done, every horn you've got will be festooned in the finest filigree. Yeah, we'll pretend like those were mm. words. Persistent, isn't he? You think that someday he really will hunt down every last Orgus? I can respect a good genocide, so... All right. Maybe I'll give him a spot in my king's cabinet or whatever, if he pulls it off. We'll give him some kind of fancy title. All right, I want to look at my requests. Right now. Do, 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 do. Get general to archetype 15. We're working on it. Chalice versus the brew. Right, we have to go kill the bounty enemy for that. This is for Stroll. We need to go to the Fishmonger near the Grand Cathedral. Let's do that so we can unlock being able to All hang right. out with Stroll again, Where presumably. Do, 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 do. Yeah, oh. Grand Cathedral. Come to think of it. Bow, bow. <sighs> All right, where's this fishmonger at? Is it you? Do you monger fish? So plenty of goods and things from across the land. Interested? No, thank you. Bye bye no. Bye bye no. All right, who up monger in their fish? Where are you at? You wouldn't happen to have any MP restoring water, would you? Say, do you know any shops that carry fish? We have fishy questions or questions about fish. Fishmonger, sure, they pop up when the catch is good. The shop to my left usually has some, in fact. Oh, we were on the right track all along. Should we buy some water while we're here? If they have the water I want. They never have fruit cordial. They never have fruit cordial. I forgot which way was left for a second. Your left, not my left. One of these shops, you said? Welcome. Ah, here we go. Fresh fish, get your fresh fish. I've got bargains. That reminds me, I had business with the fishmonger. I should talk to him. Yeah, that, that's why I'm here. Can I... Oh, you? Welcome. Welcome, welcome, one and all. If it swam in the rivers or seas, I've got it here, and it's all as fresh as the ocean breeze. Apparently, Stroll's father frequented the fish market. I know he was a doting parent, but would a count really do his own shopping? The Count of Halia? And just how do you know such a great man? Yeah, his, his son is like my best friend. You're acquainted with his son, really now? I hate to break it to you, lad, but you're an elder, and Clamar nobles aren't really known for befriending your kind. Do you have something of his? What are you playing at? If this is some manner of con, I'll make it known far and wide, especially if it concerns the Count of Halia. He saved my skin once when some pain in the butt noble started making accusations about my produce. He happened to be there and stood up for me. From what I gather, he was only in the market to find a souvenir for his son. Fancy that, a noble buying things himself. Like father, like son. Blimey, you really do know him, don't you? Well then, I know another merchant you should speak to. He did a fair amount of business with the Count. That day, he said he had an appointment to meet this merchant in front of the Regolith Grand Cathedral. Odd that he bought the fish first, eh? Mission accomplished. Oh, well, I do. Bow, bow, bow. So wait, do I need to go talk to Stroll about this? Right. Or do I need I to find this other merchant? Stroll asked me to help yada yada, perhaps the merchant- Okay, I think it wants me to find the other merchant. Don't all over do, 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 do. Wait a minute, wait a minute. Do you say anything more specific? Oh, kind of how you met a merchant by the cathedral. Okay, so that's like all you say. So I just need to talk to merchants near the cathedral? Don't I mean, this is the cathedral, so, you know, it's gotta be around here somewhere. What merchant, though? He said he was getting a souvenir for his son, so it wouldn't be like food. Uh, you're not 
You don't really get food as a souvenir, typically. Luis is the only one left. But this is like a farmer's market. It's like all food. I'm stuck. That was weird. It could be this guy over here, the Mustari. You the. We meet again, young man. Plenty of goods. Yada yada. No, not you. Bye bye no. Bye bye no. I just like hearing him say bye bye now. To be honest. Do who are you? And what do you? What do you want? You're not one of my clients, and I only do business via referral. Shrill's father went to meet a merchant in front of the Grand Cathedral. Could this be him? I'm so smart. Figured it out so easily. Foolish, it arouses great pity. Indeed, I was acquainted with the late Count of Halia. Ah, oh, is that so? You say you know his son, do you? The Count was a truly honorable, upstanding man. I doubt any son of his would associate with riff, with riff raff like you. Words. Merchant is still sus of me. What should I say next? Why? This does not sound like what I should say, but it has the uh, requirement for my uh, social stats, so it must be right. Did his fish stink? Thanks to my overwhelming imagination, I was able to choose words that convinced the merchant I have no ill intent. Hmm. Ha, how interesting. Yes, they did indeed stink. The Count would often buy fish himself and then show up to our meetings with them in hand. Just holding fish? What? Amusing as it was, I worried about how he would keep them fresh. Ah, that stirs some memories. The Count of Halia that I remember was a magnanimous man. He was genuinely kind to all he met. Perhaps I should have learned from his example. Very well, tell me your story and I will listen. Hmm. I see, you must forgive my suspicion. You truly are a friend of his son, aren't you? I don't understand why I didn't bring Shroll with me. I do apologize, but surely you understand my caution. Word of his lost inheritance is spread, and con men have tried every trick in the book to claim well, I do it. Appreciate I have indeed been assistance. entrusted with the inheritance, always meant for the Count's son. Please give him that message. The rest are details I'd prefer to share with him directly. Please bring him with you when you're able. Yeah, I mean, that makes sense. Thank goodness you're like a smart and reasonable man. I found the person who was entrusted with the Count's inheritance. I should let Stroll know immediately. E Z. All right, then. Where to? Oh, Stroll. I got some news for you, buddy. Where are you? You were... Next to the guy that I had to give the horn. There should be, like, a marker on one of these maps that says, like, turn in quest. Where is it? Am I blind? It was here, wasn't it? Is it not showing up on screen for some reason? Oh, it's been replaced. Oh, because now it's a hangout that I have to do to turn it in. I see. Okay. That was weird. Bop, 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 bop. Barden, isn't your next rank up the thing that gives me care packages? Yeah. Hmm. I also really want escape artists. Decisions, decisions. How many? I have 11 days. We do also still need to go, and it's like a two-day trip. We have to go to that last dungeon area and do that. I would rather do a rank up or two first. Let's go rank up Barden to four just because he's the lowest rank. Stroll, what do you get at rank six? Is it like, like really good? You get another skill inheritance slot, which is quite good, but I'm about to switch you to Brawler for a while. And the wall in reserve thing, which doesn't matter yet. And I'm not fussed about getting you to seven super fast because you're not ready for Samurai yet. Although you are, you're getting close to needing access to Samurai because you're at like 11 or something on Swordmaster, aren't you? Let's go rank up Barden. <laughs> ba -ba 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 -ba. 